he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why, I'm not a movie star. What? We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he write he jokes. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon, they're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Now, he didn't stop there. He went in on Steve Harvey as well. Cat called out Steve for being jealous of Bernie Mac. If you don't know, Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, Cedric the Entertainer, and Bernie Mac were a part of one of the biggest comedy specials in history called The Kings of Comedy. And Bernie Mac was the funniest one on the booking. However, he did not close out the show. Steve Harvey closed it out. And Steve did admit that he was a bit threatened by Bernie Mac. And for years, there was some beef between them. Bernie felt like Steve was jealous and he was trying to sabotage his movie roles. In fact, Steve was trying to snatch his role from Ocean's Eleven and it created a lot of tension between the two of them. And Steve did go on Club Shay Shay and he tried to act like he didn't have an interest in being a movie star. He said that he never wanted it, but clearly he did because he was trying to compete with Bernie Mac for a movie role. And Kat called Steve out on it and he also called Steve out for stealing from another comedian named Mark Curry and allegedly lying about being homeless. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over cable and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have a range. This is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget that? You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. So. Do you consider yourself a king of comedy? Where did, where did Ken no, we... they they consider that. Oh, that. Like like when after Bernie left, them same three guys I'm telling you about the Kings. Yeah. Right. Because DL is the greatest. Yeah. There's no DL slander gets tolerated. Um, but they came to me. I was supposed to be the fourth King. I got the offer. Then what happened? But I turned it down. Why? Because you shit on Bernie. And I know the truth. You think I'm gonna let you shit on Bernie and then come get me? I'm the next king? Fuck you. <laughs> Why? Because the whole time Bernie was here, you was acting like you was funnier than him. You stop it. That man was funnier than all of y'all. And y'all thought y'all had one over on him. You thought he was black and ugly and you were good looking and he couldn't make it because you did. And that ain't the way comedy worked. The king is the funniest. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. You called Ocean Eleven to get that this part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say. Cat Williams also went in on Ricky Smalley. Ricky also did an interview on Club Shay Shay, and he said that he was supposed to play the character Money Mike in Friday After Next, and Cat was supposed to play Santa Claus. However, at the last minute, they switched roles. But Cat is saying that that was a lie. It didn't happen like that. You were originally supposed to play Cat Williams' character. Yes. And Cat Williams was supposed to play my character. This man told you he had Cat Williams' role. He was gonna be Money Mike, Wait. and Cat Williams was gonna be fr was gonna be the Santa Claus. Now, let's three quick points. Three quick. You mean in Hollywood they cast a five foot five black Santa Claus that weigh 145 pounds? That's your story. Your story is the Ricky Smiley that couldn't even do curse words because he had a Christian fan base. 
he was going to play the pimp. Why you didn't ask him why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man? Him and Tyler Perry can't play a man to save their life. It is sad. He was just that bitter when we were shooting it. He told everybody, it should have been my role. What he told everybody was, Cat Williams, hey, hey, don't nobody know who he is? I'm on the radio. I'm with Steven Said. Everybody know me. That's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set. That's the truth of the matter. That's why I'm saying, that's why I can't let Ricky Smiley say he was supposed to play Money Mike. Because I wrote the words for Money Mike. I designed the hair for Money Mike. I collaborated with the wardrobe department and made outfits to make sure that no one in America would be wearing what Money Mike was wearing. Now, Ricky Smiley did respond to Kat, and he did clarify that, yes, he auditioned for Money Mike, and... He and his team got the impression that he actually was casted for Money Mike. However, that wasn't the case. They went on to do more auditions.